Hello, you're watching HW News. This is me, Anusha. Let us have a quick look at the headlines today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will today submit his application to fight the 2019 Lok Sabha election from the Varanasi parliamentary seat, the constituency he won in 2014 general election. Prime Minister Modi will file his nomination papers from Varanasi, which will vote in the seventh phase of the 2019 Lok Sabha election. Yesterday, Prime Minister Modi took a part in grand roadshow in Varanasi that saw the holy city turn into a sea of saffron. Modi is seeking a second term in office from Varanasi, a parliamentary seat he won in 2014, defeating Aam Admi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal by a massive margin of 3.37 lakh votes. Sri Lanka has released photographs of six suspects, including three women, who are wanted for their involvement in the deadly Easter attacks that killed nearly 250 people. Police have intensified search and arrested 16 people, taking the number of those in custody to 76. Nine suicide bombers are believed to be members of a local terror group who carried out a series of devastating blasts that tore through three churches and three luxury hotels on Easter Sunday. Police on Thursday released the names and pictures of the suspects and sought information regarding them from public. Shiv Sena Chief Uddhav Thakre said that NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar only thought of his family while distributing tickets for the Lok Sabha election. Thakre was addressing a campaign rally in Marvel constituency where the NCP has fielded Parth Pawar, Sharad Pawar's grand nephew and senior party leader Ajit Pawar's son. Apurva, the wife of Rohit Shekhar Tiwari, who has been arrested for allegedly killing him, has showed confusing behaviour, a police officer said on Thursday, adding she regrets her actions sometimes and appears cold about the incident other times. She also claimed that his mother, who often interfered between them and this affected the couple's relationship, the officer added. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed BJP workers in Varanasi today before filing his nomination papers. He claimed that the voters were fighting the battle of 2019 and that there was a pro-incumbency wave in the country for the first time. Modi held a massive roadshow in Varanasi yesterday evening as well. Modi claims that his roadshow is a sign that BJP has already won Varanasi. For more news updates, log on to www.hwnews.in. Now be the first to know about the latest updates on our new news app. Go on your Android or iOS, search for HW News Network. Download our app, choose the language you prefer to get updates in and be up to date with the latest news.